Fish on. Fish on. Yes, fish on. Feels like a walleye. Beautiful walleye. First walleye of the day. Gorgeous. All right, that's number one. Wow, holy freaking smokes. Um, current time check is like 7.15. I was out of there before 7 a.m. Dang, there ain't nothing better than going fishing right away in the morning and getting your limit before seven. Let's get back, let's flay up some of these fish and probably cook one up fresh. Let's have walleye for breakfast. Dang. Ain't that the prettiest dang sight you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> Oh man, jeez. It is 100% official. The number five shad wrap in bleeding hot olive is without a doubt my favorite walleye fishing bait. I'll link these down below. They make them in a bunch of different colors. Uh, a couple days ago, we were catching them on a color called head spin. It's a new color, but this bleeding hot olive, uh, perch, uh, purple olive craw, those are my go-tos and <laughs> they work, especially in shallow muddy lakes, they work. I'm sure they work in clear lakes too, but. All right, just like that, we're all cleaned up. Um, that is super slick with an electric knife. Uh, one thing I like to do, obviously I'm gonna go inside and wash them out, but one thing I like to do too when I'm washing them out is I like to zip my walleyes. If you've never done that, I highly suggest it. There's some little bones kind of right down its spinal cord, and it's also called like the stink line. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of make a small incision here and a small incision here and I pull both the flays apart. I'll show you really quick. Small cut here, small cut here. You can kind of see I just made two little cuts there. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull on it and it pulls right down the side. Bingo, that's all good to go. I do the same thing over here. I pull on it, boom, good to go. And you can see this little stink line here. This tastes fishy, it's got little bones in it. Just toss that right in the garbage. I'll do that with each and every one of my flays and then they're good to eat.
right, our temperature just reached 400 degrees. I'm gonna put the fish in here. And we're gonna let it sit for like 15 minutes, maybe 12 minutes until the fish is kind of crispy, a little flaky. In the meantime, we're gonna make some homemade bang bang sauce. And that's gonna go on top of the oven style. And it's, whew, it's dynamite. And now, now we wait. Looks like we got a little bit of weather coming in. It's been pretty dang nice the past couple days, but wow. Maybe they bit so good this morning because we got a little rain coming in this afternoon, but it was pretty dang clear and sunny and now it's, it's kind of like cold and overcast. I don't know if they're just snapping right now or if the weather had something to do with it, but Looks like the wind's picking up a little bit, but it's been gorgeous. Past couple days, at least here, kind of in Southern Minnesota, it flipped from a gross spring to basically summer in four days. It was like 30s, 40s, low 50s and windy, and now it's just like, boom, 70 degrees, sunny, gorgeous. Summer is here. Well, springish summer is here. <laughs> that is freaking good see it just flakes off i love the oven style shorelunch because it's just so light and flaky but it's got a decent crunch to it and when you put that bang bang sauce on it it's just i don't know if you've ever had like bang bang shrimp or bang bang fish tacos or anything like that it tastes just like it and it's it's freaking money No sides needed, just straight walleye for breakfast. I'm not mad at that. I was hungry. I was dang hungry. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna leave you guys at that. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Spring is an amazing time to fish. So if you have plans to go out fishing or if you don't have plans to go out fishing, make time. Go now. Everything's snapping uh, if you live in the Midwest. Crappies, bass, walleye, pike, everything underneath the sun um, is biting right now. So get out there. Uh, make sure you try shad wrap. If you kind of fish shallow muddy weedy lakes that potentially have walleyes i'll link them down below but yeah that's kind of been the crusher for me recently and yeah other than that spring is in the air we're eating walleye for breakfast and we're having a heck of a lot of fun so thank you guys so much for watching this episode all the way to the end i truly appreciate it i guess there's nothing left you said and stay tuned and as always adventure Move oh my pretty babe something ain't right Got to find a way 
to move ahead. Move ahead.